It's a holiday tradition, taking a spin or two with a dreidel or two, like one of these on loan from the New York Jewish Museum. They are tiny tops that play a big role in the Festival of Lights, Hanukkah. Here's Serena Altschul. It is the season of Hanukkah, the Jewish festival of lights. For eight days, menorahs are lit to commemorate a miracle more than 2,000 years ago, when one day's worth of lamp oil lasted eight in the just liberated Great Temple of Jerusalem. Hanukkah means music and prayers, latkes and jelly donuts, and of course, Hanukkah means the dreidel. The word dreidel really comes from, from the Yiddish or from the German. To drei means to turn, to spin around. The four-sided spinning top is inscribed with the Hebrew letters nun, gimel, hey, and shin, forming an acronym meaning a great miracle happened there. The dreidel and its letters have a very different meaning for kids today. So we each have like a number of gelt or pennies or whatever. You spin it and depending on what you land on, like if you land on noon, you get nothing. I like to watch how the dreidel spins. I like getting chocolate when I win. I have a little dreidel, I made it out of clay. But beyond the fun and games, this simple top has a serious place in Jewish history. Legend has it that the dreidel was used as a ploy during the days when Greeks ruled the Holy Land and students were forbidden from studying their religion. As soon as the guards came in, the children knew they were to put away the manuscripts and they took out these tops and they started spinning them. So the guards said, hey, what's going on here? Where's all the studying? Ah, oh, we're not studying, we're playing. And the tops were part of the miraculous happening that led to Hanukkah. Here, this is a collector's item. Rabbi Eliyahu Safran knows a thing or two about dreidels. And here's one made of electric wire. He owns more than a thousand. And who do you think cleans the shells? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> you do. I'm, I'm the only one allowed to. Safran's collection, on display at his Brooklyn home, spans the globe, from the Philippines to Brazil, India to Russia. Some are painful reminders of the past, like this one from the Vilna Ghetto in Lithuania during the Holocaust. Others are pure expressions of joy. And while Rabbi Safran is one of the world's foremost collectors... Ladies and gentlemen, start your dreidels! Eric Pavoni is one of the world's foremost dreidel players. He's the founder of Major League Dreidel, Seriously. It's a dreidel club Pavoni started seven years ago at a family Hanukkah party when he noticed that no one was playing. And I said, that's a shame. And uh, I think it's because most, most people consider the actual game of dreidel, the traditional game, to be a little bit boring. Um, so I added a competitive, more adult spin on the game. And uh, we, got, we got spinning. Talk about a spin zone. Major League Dreidel has hosted tournaments in Miami, Washington, D.C., and other major cities. Players' names matter as much as their spinning skills. On Dreidel the Giant, Spinny the Pooh, Spinderella, Spindiana Jones, Goy Toy, Goy Wonder. Can I say that on CBS? Yeah. One of the great things about Major League Dreidel is that you don't have to be Jewish to spin. Come on. All right, we got a live one here. Ah. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. That is what we call a gimmel. Gimmel, that's an eight point shot. Woo! So that beat my spinny dip. Thank you very much. Well Good done. teacher, right? A miracle, Good a miracle did happen here. <laughs> this is a Swarovski. For Rabbi Safran, the dreidel's not the only reason he holds Hanukkah dear. He met his wife, Clary, whom he calls the light of his life during the Festival of Lights 13 years ago, which brings us full circle. So is your collection of dreidels a representation of your love for her? Absolutely. When you hold the dreidel, what does it mean to you? It means to me that every single moment, every single breath of air that we can breathe during a lifetime, there are miracles happening around us. Little ones, medium-sized ones, and real big ones. 
And so all of the dreidels that surround us here really remind us of the enormous miracles that we are privileged to be part of.